Okay. Looks like he's gone for now. Sean! Sean! Daniel? I'm right here. Are, are you okay? I, I, I think so. That old guy chased me into the woods. But I, I think I lost him. Is he gone? I'm really, really scared. <laughs> hey, Emmanuel. You're doing great. You totally fooled them. Thanks to you, we have a chance of getting out of here. Yeah? Yeah. We gotta hurry, though. He called the cops on us. Think, dude. There's gotta be a way out of here. Can you try and open this vent? Yes. Ouch. It hurts. Sorry, Sean. I won't move. Don't worry. We'll figure something out. <sighs> yeah, we get it. You're the perfect Americans. There's a window over there. Maybe you can find a way in or something. It is, but be careful, it might attract him. Hey, you think you can open the back door? I'm sorry, but you married an asshole. <sighs> of course the fucking keys are all the way over there. this fucking thing off. Right. I need something to break this shit. Maybe Daniel can help. I don't even want to think of this asshole reading the same magazines as Dad. Oh yeah. This racist shithead is a real pillar of the community, all right. Okay, Daniel. I see some keys, but I can't reach them. <sighs> Maybe I can get them if I can pry this pipe off the wall. Can you find some kind of tool out there? I don't know where one is. I, I think I saw a big file thing in the workshop with all those bear sculptures. I know you can find it. Okay, I'll try.
Sean, uh, I found something. Is this what you wanted? This is it. You rule, Daniel. Come on. Let's do this. Yes! Good job, bro. This off fast. How about these? Dude, you rock. Did that asshole see you? No way. I'm invisible. Yeah, you are. Okay. Now we gotta get my stuff Don't and go. It's okay. You're safe now. You fucking little spick. You and your brother are going to jail for the rest of your life. The hell with you. Get out of here. Come on. Come on. Wait. Shit. Where are we going? Sean. Watch out. Over there. L let's go. I don't know. What are you doing out here, man? You almost scared the shit out of me. You guys okay? I don't look okay. That asshole at the gas station. You're fucking crazy. He tied me up in his back office. I swear. Don't say no more. I believe you. Okay? She's crazy out in the woods. Get in, you two. Hurry up before he catches us. having a shitty day. I knew that guy was sketchy.
Why did he freak out on us? Good question, my friend. There are a lot of messed up people out there. And you're throwing a little racism. Yeah. I don't think he was down with our last name. Welcome to Redneck Land. The Saint Seattle no more. We only lived in one place my whole life. Kinda lame, but... Well, you're pretty young. You have time. That's what's great about traveling. It gives you perspective. Sometimes maybe too much. Well, don't let it phase you, little dude. You're going to meet some amazing people on the road, too. <coughs> What's under the blanket? Come on, I'm not stupid. we are. <laughs> so, what should her name be? Hey, your dog, your choice. Oh, cool. Let's see. Um, mm, how about uh, mushroom? She totally looks like a mushroom. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Not much of a girl's name, though. Who cares? I'm sure she loves it. So do I. <laughs> All right. Mushroom it is, then. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Thanks, big brother. See, Mushroom, you got the best name ever now. <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I feel like I just witnessed history. You're on your way to becoming official road warriors, my dudes. <laughs> so, what do you do exactly? Long, boring story short. <laughs> I come from a family with money, but no soul. I took off after school and never looked back. Now I write stories for zines and websites, do podcasts, protest, try to make some positive change. Eh, whatever. Wow. So you're like all political. Everything is political, Sean. So, how do you make money? <laughs> Spoken like a real American. <laughs> Just curious. Now that we're urban nomads too, if you have any tips. I sell shit. Like a good capitalist. Stories when I can. eBay when I can't. My biggest expense is gas and food, so it's easy. Hmm. Hey, no matter what, I just try not to get cynical. Otherwise, I'd be like my family. End of the day, we have to watch out for each other, right? Yeah, you did watch out for us. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your brother crashed hard. Oh, good. He always goes right to sleep in cars. Yeah. And feel free to do the same. I won't take it personally. What about you? You okay to drive? Oh, yeah. This is my favorite time to drive. Traveling by night is kind of mysterious.
man, look at that. Oregon is like the edge of the world. Hmm. Hey, listen. I know what happened with you guys in Seattle. Do you want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. It's your call, no pressure. I... I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. It was the police. It's their fault. Dano just wanted to play zombie outside. Our shithead neighbor was picking on him. And I got in a fight. So dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops and, and they shot him. They killed my dad in front of me. One second my dad was alive. Then... then fucking cops. Hey, it's gonna be alright. Take a deep breath. Listen, I'm really sorry this happened to you, man. Injustice is everywhere, and you're taking the brunt of it right now. But you're gonna be okay, Sean. How? My life feels like... like that town down there. Wiped out. Destroyed. Empty. Like I have nothing. What is sure is, that's the past. But you can't look back now. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? You may not see it, but what you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. And you need him. I can tell he doesn't know what happened. Sean, at some point, you're gonna have to tell him. I know. I just have to find the right time. Take it from me. The sooner you can address it, the better. Yeah. I'm gonna do it next chance I get. It's just... It's not gonna be easy. So then, what's your plan? Where are you going? Good question. I was thinking... Get out of the country? Fuck it. Go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn. I thought I was the long-haul traveler. <sighs> Maybe this is crazy, but... Should we just keep going? Till we get to Mexico? If you think that's the right thing to do, yes. This is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You have family there? <sighs> Maybe. We don't even have family in the U.S. Except for grandparents we don't see anymore. What about your mom? No. No way. She's... out of the picture. But Dad, he always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Lobos. That's a pretty cool name. So it's gotta be great. Okay. So you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the shit long enough. Time to hit the road. Listen, 
I'll drop you by a motel in a couple of hours. You guys could use some time to yourselves. Okay, Mushroom, you can chase me, then shot. Um, <laughs> uh, no. Come, see if you can catch me. Ow! <laughs> Glad to see him act like a kid again. How will I tell him? Too bad sandcastles never last. Guess I could play a little with these two. Hey, let's play fetch with the pup. Really? Yes. Let me do a test throw first. Cool? Well, okay, but I'm next. Okay, puppy. Go wide. Come on, mushroom. Get it. Go, mushroom. <laughs> Good doggy. I think we need a frisbee. Now she wants me to throw the stick. <sighs> okay, here. <laughs> Watch how fast she'll get the stick. <laughs> you go for it. Just don't throw it too far. I won't. I swear. I mean, I promise. Come on, mushroom. Come on. Look, it's a stick. Fetch! Looks like these two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? I... It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. It's right there, room 10. On the second floor. 
Listen, I don't want to freak you out, okay? But you have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. Really? You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean, talk to Daniel. He deserves Lily, to... you're not leaving, are you? Yes, I am, but not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. Ta-da! I, I mean, ho, ho, ho. And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay, you win. Thanks, Brody. Feels good. Here, looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. And it's always kept me safe. Now it's yours. Cool. Um, do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like, our official guard dog? <laughs> sure. It's your bandana now. Okay. Time for me to hit the road again. Hey, don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, A Tribe Called West. So, you better keep me posted when you can, okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. Wish you could stay with us. Me too, kid. <sighs> Sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. I'm gonna miss him. Me too. Okay. Time to hit the sack. Don't worry, Mushroom. I got you. <laughs>